welcome to this next video on complex analysis till now what we have done we have studied uh, what is the differentiable function if we are talking function from c to c and we have studied that uh, how to check the differentiability of function for that we have studied cr equations and then we have seen that cr equations are not sufficient they are only necessary for the differentiability and therefore we put an extra condition on the derivatives of uh, u and v which are real parts real and imaginary parts of a function uh, we have put the uh, conditions on the derivative of these two functions u and v for the differentiability for making sure that cr conditions are sufficient also right this we have already done now in this video what we will do uh, there is something called harmonic functions okay so let us see uh, we will look at a little bit application of uh, this analytical functions in harmonic functions application of analytical functions in harmonic functions so what are analytic uh, harmonic functions so the, f uh, the thing is what are harmonic functions this equation laplace equation which is curly u curly to u by curly x2 plus curly to u by curly y2 is equal to 0 this is an equation which appears again and again in different applications of mathematical physics okay electrostat uh, elect electrostatics okay magnetics there are so many uh, fluid dynamics there are so many fields where this equation will appear again and again which is called laplace equation right the harmonic function is defined as follows in a domain d in a complex domain d suppose this is a domain domain is open connected set in a domain d in a domain d u is said to be harmonic function if its second order if all its second order partial derivatives are continuous in D and it satisfies Laplace equation ok so basically we call a solution of Laplace equation as an a harmonic function solution of Laplace equation as harmonic function but there is an extra condition on the derivatives right the second derivatives should not only exist but they should also be continuous right so this is the definition of harmonic functions now uh, where do like from where do these functions come we were talking about analytical functions how we came to this harmonic functions so there is a huge there is a huge relationship between harmonic functions and analytical functions right let us look at that what is that relationship right the relationship is the following actually suppose you have any analytic function right in a domain d suppose you have a function f which is u plus iota v and it is analytic in domain d then actually u and v both are harmonic Okay. So, it means that whenever we have to look for the solutions of Laplace equations in different fields, this equation will appear again and again in different fields and suppose we want to look at the solutions of this Laplace equation, then we will look at some analytical function and we will, we know that the real and imaginary part of this analytical function are actually harmonic functions. So, they will satisfy the Laplace equation. Right. So, let us first prove that. So, basically what we are doing, we, we are saying that analytical functions, analytic functions, they are actually source of harmonic functions. So, whenever you are searching for some harmonic functions, then the best place to search for is the analytic functions in uh, complex uh, functions from complex plane to complex plane so basically whenever you are searching for harmonic functions you can go to an analytic function and you can ask for its real and imaginary parts and you will know that the the real and imaginary parts will form uh, they are harmonic functions so let us prove that 
that they are actually harmonic functions. So we have the following theorem. What is that theorem? Theorem is if f of z, which is u of x comma y plus iota times v of x comma y, is analytic in a domain D, is analytic in a domain D. Domain means open connected set. So you know that that all the theorems which we are doing they are actually in domain D. Then each of the function, then each of the function u x comma y and v x comma y is harmonic in D. Is harmonic in D. Right. So let us prove it. Let us prove this theorem. Okay. Later on, we will prove that whenever f of z is analytic, then the real and imaginary parts u and v of f they have continuous derivatives of all orders, partial derivatives, of course, derivatives of all orders. Okay. We will prove it later on. Right now, we will assume this thing. Right. Suppose we assume this thing. Right now, we assume this fact. Right. So basically, we have this thing. If f of z is equal to u plus iota v, and if we know that this is analytic, then it means that this u and v they are having partial derivatives continuous all the orders of all orders. Okay. So you have u and v. You can talk about hundreds part uh, hundreds order partial derivative of u with respect to x. And similarly, you can talk of hundredth order partial derivative of v with respect to x or y, right? Here also x or y, they will be continuous always. We will prove it. This is a very strong result in complex analysis, right? Now suppose we we assume this this thing. Uh, so we have this thing that u x and u y they are continuous. And now we have a theorem from we have a result from simple calculus. If u x and u y are continuous. Then I can reverse the order of differentiation. That is, curly by curly y of curly u by curly x is same as curly by curly x of curly u by curly y. Right. So for using this result for reversing the order of differentiation, we need the continuity of u x and u y. Okay. We are assuming that that it uh, that it is there. So we have this result. Now we want to prove that u and v are harmonic, and given that f is analytic. So we know that if f is analytic, then Cauchy-Riemann equations will be satisfied. They are satisfied, right? So we have u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x. We have this thing, right? Now look at this. Now, in place of u x, you just put v y, and in place of u y, you put minus v x. So we get curly by curly y of u x is v y, so that is curly v by curly y is equal to curly by curly x of in place of curly u by curly y, you will put minus curly v by curly x. So from here you get that curly v by curly x two plus curly two v by curly y two is equal to zero. It implies that v satisfies Laplace equation. Okay, and again go back to this fact. I am saying that all the orders of u and v will be continuous so it means that also second order partial derivatives of u v are continuous right so these are the two conditions of harmonic functions so it implies v is harmonic in d right similarly we can prove that u is harmonic in d similarly we can prove that u is harmonic in d similarly we can prove that u is harmonic in d right so we we have the following result so whenever we have this thing that f of z is analytic in a domain d then it implies that u and v they are harmonic in d right and what do you mean by harmonic harmonic means they satisfy laplace equation the first point is they satisfy Laplace equation, and the second point is that second order partial derivatives are continuous. Second order partial derivatives 
of u and v are continuous so these are the two things so this is the relation between analytic functions and harmonic functions now conversely on the other hand conversely suppose u is a harmonic function in a domain d it is given to you right then you can always find you can always find a harmonic function another harmonic function v in d such that u plus eta v is analytic right so what we have we have if you have analytic function then its real and pa imaginary parts they are harmonic on the other hand if you have one harmonic function if you have one harmonic function in a domain d then you can always find another harmonic function v in the same same domain d such that u plus eta v is analytic in this case v is called v is called harmonic conjugate of u right for the uh, for computing this v for the computation of this v cr conditions are used okay so we have these two things given an analytic func analytic function you can construct harmonic functions and on the other hand given a uh, harmonic function you can construct an analytic function let us look at an example of constructing an analytic function given a harmonic function right i have already told that we will use the cr conditions for that so suppose you have this problem that construct a, construct an analytic function whose real part is x cube minus 3 x y square plus y okay so let us do it so what we have we have this function u x comma y is x cube minus 3 x y square plus y right so first of all we will check whether this is harmonic or not so clearly it is a polynomial function so second order derivatives will be continuous second order derivatives are continuous okay right now let us see whether it satisfies the laplace equation what is curly u by curly x that is 3x square minus 3y square what is curly 2u by curly x2 that is 6x and what is curly u by curly y that is minus 6xy plus 1 and curly 2u by curly y2 that is minus 6x adding these two we will get curly 2u by curly x2 plus curly 2u by curly y2 is 0 right so it means that u is harmonic okay this is the first thing which you have to check when you you want to construct an analytic function from a harmonic function right now what we want we are given u and we want what is v right okay given u find v such that u plus eta v is analytic now because the final function is analytic so cr conditions will be satisfied so you have ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus v of x so it means that you start with vx is minus uy so it implies that curly v by curly x is minus uy what is u u was x cube minus 3xy square plus y so what is uy uy will be Minus six x y plus one, right? Now you integrate this thing, you will get v is equal to minus. Integrate it with respect to x, so you will get three x square y, three x square y, okay, x square y plus x plus a constant. But this time, because this is a partial derivative with respect to x, so the constant can be a function of y. So you get this v, this as your v. now given that v of x is minus u of i'm sorry now you are given that v of y is u of x so you, from here you compute v of y it will be v of y is minus 3x square plus 1 sorry plus 0 plus 
f dash y and what is u of x u of x is 3x square i'm sorry am i doing correct so uh, u of x is 3x square minus 3y square u of x is 3x square minus 3y square okay and your v of y integrate when you integrate it with respect to x you will get minus 3x square plus x plus f of y okay and here you have uh, ux so vy is from here vy is minus 3x square plus 0 plus f dash y and from here you have i am doing something wrong just a minute okay we have uh, uh, vy is 3x square minus 3y square that is correct and vx vx is minus 6xy minus 1 that is wrong actually vx is minus of uy so you have to put a negative sign here right so it will be plus and it will be minus so it is f, f of y so here you will get 3x square minus 3y square so your this is your ux and when you will find partial derivative from here so it will be plus okay and these two are equal so you will get 3x square and 3x square will cancel so you will have f dash y is equal to minus 3y square and from here you have because this is not a partial derivative this is a uh, normal derivative so f of y is minus y cube plus some constant right so what is our v v is from here just put the value of f of y so your v is 3x square y minus x minus x plus minus y cube plus some constant okay so this is your v 3x square y minus x 3x square y minus x minus y cube plus some constant therefore our function which is u plus eta v that becomes what is your u u is x cube minus 3xy square plus y plus eta times 3x square y minus x minus y cube plus some constant i am calling that constant as a you can just manipulate something is uh, the terms and you will get this as z cube plus minus eta times z minus a so this is the required function so what we have done we ha we are given a harmonic function we are given a harmonic function this is the given harmonic function and this is what we have constructed we have constructed an analytic function so this is an important thing given a harmonic function you will you can always construct a, uh, this analytic function and given an analytic function uh, the real and imaginary part will be harmonic functions okay in the next video also we will look at uh, some more things into this harmonic functions okay thank you